Hey guys, it's me Dave. It's, uh, what is it, 8.30, 2020. Um, look at me, I just, I look like I've been through the ringer. <laughs> and I have. That's the truth of it. I have. It's, it's wearing on me, you guys. No sleep and all that stuff. Um, you know, I had a few uh, cocktails last night, so I, I, I did get some sleep. I did get up a couple times, but, um... I, I was able to get some sleep, um, you know, probably, I don't know, I, well, I don't know what time these guys, you know, the dogs wake up so early, I think it was before 8 o'clock, and we had to, you know, get up and feed them and all that stuff, so, um, you know, I can't sleep in, I'd like to sleep in until 9 or 10 o'clock, to be honest with you, because it's wearing on me, and then, I get up and I try to go back to bed and all this stuff, like I said a hundred times, and they were uh, not just hitting me in my sleep, they were torturing me in my sleep. I was laying there in bed trying to sleep and they were harassing and torturing me with remote neural manipulation while I was trying to sleep, and then they were doing behaviorals. They were, you know, it feels like a little bit of rage, but it, 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 oh gosh, it's so hard to explain. It feels like it's going through your whole body, you know, through your upper body here, you know, in here, you know, and it, it makes your whole body feel weird, you know, if that's a good word, you know, it makes you feel, you know, it makes your upper body feel weird, you know, um, it's so hard to explain, it's just... You really can't explain the stuff, you know, some of the frequencies they use and stuff, you know, it's, it's so hard to explain, but, um, it's wearing on me, I'm wore out, man, I am beat, I am beat, you know, I'm beat, I was up there for two days, and then, uh, you know, last night I got a little bit of, or, uh, well, I got a little bit of sleep Friday and Saturday night, because I had a couple, I had a couple of drinks, you know, I had a little buzz going on, so, I was able to get some sleep, but, um, it's wearing on me, you know, I, you know, it's aging me, you know, I'm, I'm gonna probably have big bags under my eyes here pretty soon, because it's, it's getting to me a little bit, um, so tomorrow, okay, so tomorrow is my phone appointment with, uh, my nurse, nurse practitioner, alright, so, I've been thinking about that. And what am I going to tell her? I'll, I'll tell her the truth, all right? I'll, I'm just going to say, well, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Um, I'm being hurt with directed energy weapons. For like the last month, I've been getting tortured. You know, Friday was so bad. They hit me so bad on Friday with microwave weapons that I had to call 911 for help, you know? I'm just going to be honest, um, you know, they probably want me to talk about this, so it discredits me and all this stuff, what are they going to do for me, you know, really, are they going to, you know, is it a game, is it, uh, what are they going to do, are they going to change my meds, and then, and then what, what if, are they going to take it easy on me and be like, oh yeah, things are much better. Now it's like a magic wand where, oh yeah, we changed the meds and now they're leaving me alone. You know, is is, is that going to happen? You know, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I'll tell her, tell her uh, the truth, I guess, this time and see what she says. She's a sweetheart. She's a real sweet girl. Um... You know, she is uh, a real sweet girl. Um, um, that's probably why they didn't want me to go see her in person. Um, because they, they wanted to do it over the phone uh, appointment. Um, you know, some of these people uh, play a role in our programs. And they, um, I, I don't think a lot of these people want to do this. Um, they kind of know what's going on. They know you're being tortured because you're complaining about it. 
and all this stuff. And some people are like, I don't, I don't want any part of that, really. You know, I really don't. But when you're messing with a big agency, like whoever, um, I don't know who they are. Uh, these people go along with the program. I imagine they get paid a little bit of money, but some some people have morals, and they and they don't want to play a part in this program, knowing that you're being hurt um, every day and stuff. So um, that's kind of my deal. So we're having an appointment. Uh, they're gonna call anywhere between ten fifteen and ten thirty tomorrow. I'm gonna tell her the truth. You know, I'll tell her the truth. I'll be like, you know, I, you know, I'll just, I'm just going to be like, to be honest, I think I'm being hit with directed energy weapons. The medication isn't working. The trazodone isn't working. The sleeping pills isn't working. I take trazodone or the sleeping pills to try to sleep and all this stuff. And my feet itch all night. Well, that's not one of the side effects of the medication. So how do you explain that? How do you explain that, you know? I, you know, there's just, you know, it, it just, it doesn't make sense. These guys are, are trying to cover their tracks and all this stuff. Um, you know, it's, you know, how do you explain the harassment in the neighborhood and uh, the marks to my head and all this stuff? You know, how do you explain all that? You know, it's, you know. So anyway, um, I was going to mention this last night. Um, okay, so, uh... Okay, so they're, they're, when I was getting hit super, super, super hard, um, I didn't understand what, what was going on. Um, I had a cop sitting on the main road up there 24-7 um, for some reason, you know. Um, I don't know if it was for my safety or what. Um, um, I... I was complaining to myself. Well, these guys can hear me. They're watching my, you know, read my thoughts and all this stuff, all right? So I was complaining. <clears throat> I was like, you know, I was getting nailed for seven and a half months. I was like, I can't believe nobody comes and checks on me to see if I'm okay and all this stuff. Okay, so um, a cop did come and checked on me. He, uh, he came in, uh, you know, I let him in the house and all this stuff. He, he came in, did the check on me, um, and all this stuff, you know. He was asking how I'm doing and all this stuff. He had his body camera on. He had, my, my injuries were on his body camera. I was sitting in a chair, and he was standing over me. He was getting my injuries on his body camera, you know. And, um, you know, and then... Uh, you know, he d did a check on me and all this stuff, and he's like, oh, he's like, I'm gonna come in, you know, I'll come back in a couple weeks or a week or whatever, and I'll do another check on you, make sure you're okay, and all, you know, all this stuff, you know. Um, he knew I was being hit hard, you know, very hard. Um, um, okay, so when they took me down with pain, um, you know, I I almost dropped to my knees. It was so painful in the temples um i couldn't take it i had to call the cops you know and the 911 operator knew what was going on she's like i'm just gonna send a police car there to take you to the hospital all right i said all right that's fine whatever um so they sent that same cop that did a check on me you know it was the same guy you know nice guy nice cop you know he didn't he wasn't perping me or anything. He was, uh, well, he did kind of perp me um, on the ride down to the hospital. He's He said part of a skit. So we're, we're driving on the road and, and stuff, and he's like, group home, <laughs> you know. So he did, he did perp me, you know. But he's a nice guy, a good cop and all this stuff. You know, and really nice guy. Um, so, I was taking Tanner out yesterday, and I, I haven't seen him in a few years, you know? So, okay, so I called the cops on Friday, and they know I'm being hurt. They know, you know, everyone's involved in this stuff. They know what's going on a little bit, 
they know I'm being hurt. So I seen the cop on the main road and then he turned down by the house. And uh, it was that cop. You know, I haven't seen him in probably three years. So, you know, he was driving at the house and stuff. Um, he knows about this program. He knows I'm getting tortured and all this. I don't know how. I don't know how much he knows. He knows something's going on. You know what I mean? Um, and stuff. So they had him ride by the house uh, Friday when I was getting ready to take Tanner out and stuff. Um, you know. So that's that's that. You know. Um, you know. I kind of misspoke. When I made my video on Friday, um, you know, I, um, you know, I, I'm still a little confused of who's who and all this stuff, what's what, and who's who, and you know what I mean? I mean, we have, uh, I have different groups in my program and all this stuff. I think some of the agencies are involved in all this stuff. Um, well, I said that when I go down to the psych ward that, um, I think that the uh, one of these agencies take control of doing the weapons. I think I'm wrong about that. Um, I shouldn't have said that. Um, just because when I was in there the second time, um, they were torturing me to hell. And I was like, I want my clothes. I want my clothes now. I want out of here. You know, and all this stuff. Um, but before that... Um, I was, uh, what, I, okay, so I don't know if it was me or if it was them putting thoughts in my head, but they were trying to get me to break out of the, break out of the psych ward, you know, um, they would, you know, staff would go in and out and all this stuff, and I was thinking, well, you know, if I can get that unlocked lock door open, <laughs> you know, I can, I'm going to get the heck out of here, I'm going to run out, run home or whatever, and you know, it would never work. The cops come pick me up and all that stuff. But, but I was thinking that. You know, I don't. Was it them putting that in my mind? I don't know. Um, so anyway, the point is, is that um, uh, at the beginning of my program, they did tons of gang stalking. Um, they had a couple guys that were probably from an agency. One of the guys was driving a brand new uh, Camaro convertible, okay? Um, he was definitely part of an agency. Um, so I, I'm thinking, I, I was uh, sitting in the uh, space there looking at, watching TV and all this stuff. I'm thinking, how can I break out of here? Seriously, how can I break out of here? You know, how can I get those locked doors open so I can get the heck out of here? Well, they'll read my thoughts and all this stuff. And so they got scared of that thinking or whatever. And they called in that guy. And they called, um, a lady was with them. Okay. So, uh, and the lady was from the courthouse. Uh, I recognized her. I knew I knew who she was um, because I had uh, to. I you know I was going to be a witness in a case um, for theft. Uh, I was going to be a witness. I, I watched these guys steal a dishwasher out of a an abandoned house and all this stuff. And I was I was supposed to testify and all this stuff. It never happened. I don't know what happened with it. You know, but okay. So it was that lady, and then the guy that was driving the Camaro, which he was wearing dress, dress pants, um, dress shirt, you know, he looked like, I don't know, somebody from an agency, possibly, you know, so, so I think it, I think it was the contractors that were in the hospital doing this to me, too, um, because they called in him and the lady from the courthouse, to come down there and be in they were sitting on the couch right next to me pretending to visit their dad or someone they you know it's a fake psych ward you know they're all perps and all this stuff young old people you know you know you know all kinds of different people you know in there you know it was unreal you know so 
they went down there and they were sitting by me and then I, I got up and went to my room, you know, and stuff. But, um, so, you know, I think it is the contractors. Even when I, when I go down to the hospital, um, I think uh, one of these agencies take over the hospital because I think they can do whatever they want. They have tons of power and all this stuff. Um, and everyone has to go with what they're saying, you know, pretty much. I don't know. I don't know why they do it, you know, but, um, so it's, uh, uh, you know, I think these contractors are the ones doing the torture and working the weapons and stuff, but, um, I think some of these agencies kind of look, look the other way, you know, they don't want to know how bad you're being tortured and stuff, um. I don't know. It's confusing. It's made to be confusing. There's a lot of big people in my program involved. Um, you know, uh, and then you got the contractors, contractor punks, you know, that are punks. They sound like punks. They have a maturity level of a 12 year old boy, you know. They, they're, you can tell they probably sit around and play video games all day long. They don't take anything very seriously they you know probably have their mom take care of them or something I don't know that's what they sound like they sound very immature you know and stuff so it's it's crazy it's crazy they, they let me see a lot of things in my program they let me see a lot of things in my program they kind of tell me how everything's gonna work and stuff um, sometimes you know sometimes they do that um, to let me know what's going on and I, and I have to sit there and try to figure it out myself, you know, um, and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to cut this off. Um, I'll talk about today a little bit. Um, yeah, so I got hit in the morning, uh, a little bit in the afternoon, probably until about 4 o'clock in the afternoon um, when I was feeding the dogs and stuff. And then they kind of laid off me now. Um, but they've been doing microwaves to the head. I mean, it's... Um, They can hit you where you get pissed off. You know, I don't. I don't know if they're putting rage in you necessarily, but they can hit hit you. Um, especially the temples are really sensitive to these weapons. Um, you know, they can make you throw a fit and stuff. And they, they were kind of doing that a little bit um, earlier and stuff. But uh, they haven't. Uh, they they kind of laid off me probably since 4.35 o'clock, but, um, and then I have my appointment tomorrow, we'll see what happens, um, <laughs> you know, you know, you have to play the game, they force you to play the game, I can't do anything about it, I'm gonna tell the truth, you know, before I said, don't tell the truth, don't talk about this, well, I'm to the point now where, um, I got I got it so bad on Friday that um, you know I'm gonna tell the truth um, and see what happens and put me on more meds or I don't know what they're gonna do you know I don't know I don't know you know you got these these groups that are on different pages you know people act like they want to send you to psych ward and then the other group is like no you're not sending them to psych ward you know I mean it's you know. One group is like, we don't want to buy meds because it interferes with what we're trying to do. And you got the other group saying, well, let's discredit him, put him on all kinds of meds so we can sit there and torture him. The hell, you know, it's... Nobody knows what's going on, it seems like, you know. So anyway, I'm going to cut this off. I hope you guys had a good weekend and taking it easy and staying safe out there. We're all getting hit and I feel for you guys. Um... You know, I care for all you guys out there, and, uh, you know, I'll talk to you later, and have a good night, and I'll talk to you later.